Hello everyone. Today I will be explaining you the topic work and time. Suppose A can do work in X days, so the work done by A in one day would be one upon X. Suppose in this example, A and B together erect a shed in twelve days. A alone can do it in twenty days. How much time B would take working alone to erect the shed? In this question, the work done together in one day by both of them would be one upon twelve, and the work done by A alone would would be one upon twenty. The work done alone by B in one day, we would subtract the total work done by both of them by the work done alone by A. That is one upon twelve minus one upon twenty. which would give us 1 upon 30 hence the work completed by b alone would be 30 days here a and b together can dig a pond in 20 days they worked together for 8 days and then b leaves the work how long will a take to finish the work if a alone can dig the pond in 30 days so the work done by a and b in one day would be 1 upon 20 Hence, the work done by both of them in eight days would be eight upon twenty. The work left after the eight days would be one minus eight upon twenty, that would be twelve upon twenty. The work done by A alone would be one upon thirty, since A takes thirty days to complete the work. Now, to find out the number of days to complete the incomplete work by A. we would divide the work left by a is a lone complete work in one day that would be 12 upon 20 divided by 1 upon 30 which would be 18 days this means that the 18 days would require a to complete the left work a b and c working separately can do a work in 2 3 and 4 days respectively If they all work together and earn rupees three thousand nine hundred for the whole work, how should they divide the money? If A completes the whole work alone in two days, he would complete one by two work in one day. Similarly, for B, he would complete one upon three work in one day, and for C, one upon fourth work in one day. Moreover, the ratio of their works. Would be one upon two is to one upon three is to one upon four. As ratios cannot be in fractions, we would convert them by taking a common LCM that would come out to be twelve. We would multiply the ratios by twelve. One upon two divided by twelve would be six, and similarly for the others. Now the total share for the work done together is three thousand and nine hundred. We would divide it by six upon thirteen. Since six plus four plus three is thirteen, the denominator would be thirteen. After multiplying it, the answer would come to be eighteen hundred. This means that a share would be eighteen hundred rupees. So let's summarize what we learned. If a person completes the work in X days, the work done by the person in one day would be one upon X. This is basic unitary method